Welcome to day three of my 12 days of Christmas challenge. Today I'm going to the defence to select the best left back of the last 30 years. There have been some excellent players to choose from, but once again I had little doubt over who I was going to pick. One of the players who came close to selection was Vicente Lizarazu. Lizarazu was a quality defender who was a key member of the French team that won the 1998 World Cup and the 2000 European Championships. His early career was spent with Bordeaux before moving to Bayern Munich, where he would spend the remainder of his career apart from a six-month spell at Marseille, before returning to Bayern. During his years in Germany, he won six Bundesligas and a Champions League. A player I rated highly but didn't particularly like was Ashley Cole. Cole shot himself in the foot with his comments about being insulted by the offer Arsenal had made him before he moved to Chelsea. It didn't endear him to the neutral fan, but he was a very good footballer. He was probably the player who tended to do the best against Cristiano Ronaldo and there can't be many players who have won the English League and FA Cup double with two different clubs. The final name on the shortlist that didn't make the team is Brazilian legend Roberto Carlos. Carlos became a household name in the 90s and noughties but to be honest it wasn't really for his defending. He was a free kick specialist and no stranger to the spectacular which tended to be what he's best remembered for. Being a Brazilian fullback has never been about defending anyway, and he helped the national team win a World Cup and two Copa Americas during his career. At club level, his best years came with Real Madrid, where he won four league titles and three Champions Leagues. As good as those three were, there was only ever going to be one man that could take this spot in the team, and that man is Paulo Maldini. Maldini spent his entire 25-year professional career with AC Milan as well as six years as a youth player before turning pro. Maldini made his debut with Milan in January 1985 at 16 years old and by the following season he was a regular in the first team. Over the next 25 years, Maldini played in good teams and bad teams. Players came and players left, but through it all Maldini was a mainstay in the defence. Even in his final season, at 40 years old, he made 30 appearances in Serie A, so it's unsurprising that when he retired in 2009, he had played more games in Serie A than anyone else, although Gianluigi Buffon has since surpassed his tally of 647 games. Maldini won seven Scudettos with Milan and five European Cups or Champions Leagues as they became known in his later career. He also won a Coppa Italia, five Italian Super Cups, five UEFA Super Cups, two Intercontinental Cups and one FIFA Club World Cup. Maldini didn't have as much success with the national team, although he did win 126 caps for the Azzurri. He was a runner-up in both the 1994 World Cup and 2000 European Championships. Even at under-21 level, he couldn't get across the finishing line with Italy, losing the 1986 under-21 Euros to Spain on penalties. Despite those disappointments, his personal standards were high and he was named in the European Championship Team of the Tournament three times and the FIFA World Cup All-Stars twice. He also finished third in the Ballon d'Or voting twice and he has won many personal accolades since retirement with ESPN, Sports Illustrated, World Soccer, UEFA European Championships and the Ballon d'Or all voting him into their greatest ever teams. He's also in the AC Milan and Italian Football Hall of Fames. Maldini was never a traditional defender. He wasn't the hard man type, but rather an incredibly smart footballer. He was the king of anticipation and rarely had to do any last gasp tackling as he always looked to be a step ahead of the opposition. So more times than enough, he had already closed the space down before the attacker had made the pass, which is why I'll go down as one of, if not the best defender the world has ever seen.